All right, guys, did you know that Saturday, November 20th, is National Peanut Butter Fudge Day? Yep, Peanut Butter Fudge Day. Who does not like peanut butter fudge? You're crazy if you not like it. You just haven't tried it. It's the most easiest thing you can make. And I have an idea of how you can portion it out. It's pretty cool. So stick with us. We are cooking some peanut butter fudge for National Peanut Butter Fudge Day. And I have a special guest, and uh, she's letting me borrow her kitchen again. The beautiful, lovely nanny. Hey. Have you ever made peanut butter fudge? No? no my so I'm going to teach her a trick, actually, about how to make some peanut butter fudge. Are you excited? You, you excited? You like my yeah. shirt? My BS yeah. shirt? Yeah. BS, you know what, brainstorm? It can be like bright smiles. Mm -hmm. Big smiles, bright sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. Stay tuned, guys. Peanut butter fudge with Nanny. You smell like peanuts. I love peanuts. Howdy, folks. Brainstorm here coming at you in the beautiful, lovely time of my youth. It takes me back in time. It's like a time capsule in Nanny's kitchen. My sweet 83 year old mama. I'm teaching her how to make some peanut butter fudge day for an. Did you know Saturday is National Peanut Butter Fudge Day? Well, this today will be Saturday when I'm posting this. So Saturday, November 20th is Peanut Butter Fudge Day. Fudge is the easiest thing to make, guys, if y'all didn't know this. Hope you like my BS shirt. My lovely wife made me a, a... This is my logo for my YouTube channel. Yeah. You're pretty popular on that channel, you know. So I like coming here making these memories with Nanny. So Peanut Butter Fudge really is easy. You're already tired? Well, you just have to watch. I'm just teaching you. I'm teaching you how to make peanut. I'm in the right hand yard. No she's been more. she's been working hard. She's a hard working, hardest working eighty three year old I know. That's for sure. I don't think when I get to eighty, I won't even be able to walk probably if I make it. But anyway, um, peanut butter fudge takes four ingredients really, guys. You need two cups of sugar. You need half a cup of milk. You need three quarter cup. Uh, well, I'm just going to scoop it, but three quarter cup of peanut butter, or any kind of peanut butter really, and you need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So, you're gonna we're going to use this very well worn and handy dandy cast iron skillet of Danny's. I bet you've made a few things in that thing, haven't you? Yes, mostly. How old do you think that skillet is? It's old. It's pretty old. It's probably older than me. Okay. For sure. <laughs> yeah, I like the biscuits you make. If you haven't seen the video that we made biscuits in this kitchen with Nanny, I'm gonna link that up here. You got to watch that biscuits. Mm-hmm. Yummy goodness. Simon patties and biscuits we made that day. That was good. Ooh, I better shut up. I'm getting hungry. All right. <laughs> we're gonna turn it on high. Oh, on the front, yeah. We're gonna turn it on high. Two cups of sugar. The milk's gonna make it yeah. not burning. Is there something magical about that milk and that sugar right there? I don't know why. But two cups of sugar, a half a cup of milk. So you just gonna you not you're just gonna get that in last. So I'm just gonna get that big scoop. So, I'm not going to, you use three quarter cups is what the recipe, it's like the easiest, I'll link, the, I'll link where I got this, well, my wife actually gave me this recipe that she found on Pinterest, and it's like the easiest five minute peanut butter fudge recipe, you can make fudge like this with any kind of flavoring, really, peanut butter, chocolate, you can add stuff to it, but you're going to melt, you're going to melt this, and it's just like I said, there's something magical what happens with this concoction of sugar and um, milk. Just magical. Oh, it needs to boil about two and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. So you're going to boil it about two and a half minutes and it's going to froth up really pretty. And then you take it off the heat. And when you remove it from the heat, you add the peanut butter and the vanilla. But then you've got to put it in your container right away while it's good and runny. Because it'll start setting up immediately. I learned that in my second batch last night. It got real ugly. It was still good.
peanut fudge, but peanut butter fudge, but so we're just gonna let it. And I'm gonna spray these down. Well, actually, you already did that for me, didn't you? Just spray the ice cube trays. Yeah. That's what we're gonna put it in. So I got two ice cube trays. I'm gonna spray those a little bit so that the fudge will come off pretty easy. That's the thing I came up with. Now that's pretty cool, I think. Now it's boiling. It's boiling now, so we're gonna wait two and a half minutes. It's 11:30 now, so we're gonna wait two and a half minutes. 32. And then we'll take it off. Right, we're going to turn it off in a few seconds. Alright, there's our two minutes. Two and a half minutes. And then we're going to pull it off the heat there. Alright, while it's pulling down, get some of that caramelly goodness on the stove. Sorry. Get that teaspoon of vanilla. Get us some. Um, Peanut butter, Mama. How much you want? We're gonna get a it out. big old scoop of it. Two good big spoons full. I almost burned it a little there. We're gonna mix that up really good. One thing I learned about, you want to get it good and smooth and nice and creamy. But you want to go ahead and pour it while it's hot. That's why it's good to have a container like those ice cube trays. Yeah. Because once you move those right there. Have those ice cube trays containers. And, um. Won't melt it. Yeah, I won't melt it. Peanut butter fudge cubes. That's what I'm calling these. I'm sure someone else has had this idea before. But we're going to pour this as best we can in the cubes. It's not as thin as I'd like it, so they're not going to be as pretty as I want. You can scrape that out for me, though. What's cool about this is you can do multiple batches and then stack them like you do the ice. You get the spatula and scrape it. It's a lot better. Alright, that's pretty good right there. So, it's pretty or not, it doesn't matter. It'll still, when it sets up in these cubes, you'll be able to crack it open like ice. So, but that was pretty. It could have gone a lot better with the pouring. Um, but, check it out. What you think of that, Nanny? Uh-huh. It's some uh, peanut butter. It smells like peanut butter. <laughs> so, will you open the freezer there? I'm going to put them in the freezer. I left the mine that I did last night, myself in my house, over overnight. That's the way it looks like, though, yeah. And that's the way it looks like my first batch that I did. Look how pretty and smooth those were. That mixture was perfect. I think I put too much peanut butter in this batch and it wasn't soupy enough. But um, look at that. You can't overdo it, you know, on things. The second batch that I did was as ugly as that one as far as not being smooth at the top. But um, they still were tasty. I ate those suckers. So You can celebrate National Peanut Day ever how you want to. Peanut Butter Fudge Day can be celebrated. Store-bought peanut butter fudge. But it's more fun... To make peanut butter fudge, that was pretty easy, wasn't it, Nanny? Yeah. We're fixing to taste it, too. So, don't forget, if you like this video, if you like all these videos I make with Nanny, hit that subscribe button. Make our day, make Nanny's day, make that red button gray, and subscribe to this channel. We really do appreciate it, and we really love it when you uh, watch our content and subscribe. Leave us a comment and tell us how good we do or how bad we do. It doesn't matter, guys. Feedback is the breakfast of champions, and so is peanut butter fudge. Yes, ma'am. I like cooking with Nanny. So if y'all like these cooking with Nanny episodes, definitely hit that subscribe button. Go look at all the, I'll leave the link in the description below to the playlist that I have of other videos I've done with Nanny. And, and uh, yeah, so let's try, let's just quit talking, all right? Because I, I know I want to try this peanut butter fudge.
So we're going to take our peanut butter ice cubes and then they're going to come out beautifully like a ice cube tray, but one of them came out. I mean, they're not going to make that satisfying crack. I think we can kind of like help them out. Oh, there's one on the floor. Yep. We'll have to switch to the 20 second roll in a minute. But I love that, you know, you can pour that hot concoction in the ice tray. And it's already sectioned out. There's one thing I like is like a unified um, symmetrical portion to some treat that you're making. Alright, one more. There we go. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen different cubes. I'm gonna eat this one. Did I, did I, I'm gonna eat this one that I dropped on the floor. Mmm. I have peanut buttery yummy goodness right there. Here you go, big brother. Try some peanut butter fudge. Tell me what you think. First time he ever tried any of my fudge. What do you think? Fudge, but it's good. Yeah, you definitely keep them in the freezer overnight and they'll set up really good. You don't have to put them in the freezer, you can just put them in the refrigerator. But they set up really pretty though. Look at how those look. Fudge cubes, peanut butter fudge cubes, guys. This is cool. I, was, I love this. All right, Nanny, let's do a thumbnail. Oh, you are beautiful. No, oh, really, you are. You're gorgeous. All right. So now, now you gotta try one. Take one off there and try it. It's pretty soft. It's not hard. Mmm, very good. It's good, isn't it? If you like peanut butter, I mean, it's peanut butter and sugar. You can't go wrong with that. You like that? Very rich, though. It is very rich. <laughs> You could use some fat-free peanut butter. You could probably use a sucralose sugar substitute, too. I haven't tried that. We'll have to try that, though. It's a good idea, isn't it? Well, thank you for letting me cook in your kitchen and showing you how to make some fudge. You're welcome. I didn't make that big a mess of it, hopefully. we got to clean up. I love my cooking with Nanny. Y'all, go check out your family. Go check out your mom, your dad, your sisters, brothers, uncles, whatever you can. And that's what Thanksgiving's all about, guys. That's what family, the holidays, should be about. Is loving one another and helping one another and just thanking God for all the blessings that flow our way. Like peanut butter fudge. I love that stuff. Oh, Alright, I wish I could share it with you guys. Oh man, it's, oh man, it's brand new floor. Yep, she's got a brand new floor that Stanley put in. So we're not sinking through it. <laughs> this house is like 50 years old, so bound to have some... Aches and pains like Nanny, right? <laughs> y'all have a great day. Get you some peanut butter fudge, guys. Celebrate. See y'all next time. God bless you.